Hallo Leute, willkommen zu von zu mir, wollte ich schon sagen hier, Alter. <lacht> Kein schon Impact. Wir haben letztes Mal das äh, Spiel äh, gespielt, ne? Ich verliere so oft meinen Faden vom Satz, das ist grausam. Also ich weiß, ich wollte sagen, wir haben den ersten Akt abgeschlossen, voilà. Da ist es. Äh, und heute geht es weiter mit Akt 2 natürlich. Äh, wir müssen uns auf die Suche nach Daniel begehen. Wir müssen äh, heute uns auf das Fest, wie es scheint, konzentrieren. Nämlich den Dun ne Stunden, ja, ich dachte, Alter, dünn da ist Pferd, Alter, was ist los? <lacht> oh Gott, noch nie hat, glaube ich, eine Folge mit so vielen Fehlern begonnen. Jesus Christ, was ist denn los? Also, wir auf jeden Fall haben wir ja das äh, Saboros Fest, ungefähr. Ihr seht auch, ich habe seit dem letzten Mal, habe ich natürlich mir äh, Zeit genommen und noch alles erkundet. Außer das hier, weil das anscheinend noch nicht möglich ist, aber sonst habe ich gut alles und, ja. Ja, ja. Ähm, wir haben auch Cola hier jetzt äh, im Team, weil ich hatte auch noch Puls gewonnen. Das wäre minus C1, ist es ne? Ne, C2, stimmt. Ich habe es zweimal selbst gepult und einmal im Event hier selbst äh, bekommen. Und das sogar direkt am Anfang im Event, also ich empfehle euch definitiv, äh, das zu machen. Hier plus noch 32 Tage, das heißt, wenn ihr noch in einem anderen Gebiet seid, dann könnt ihr euch noch äh, bis dahin äh, kämpfen und dann noch so ganz knapp vielleicht äh, Cola bekommen. Und auch sogar relativ chillig, wenn ihr äh, nicht. Äh, also weit entfernt sind halt von Zemero. Aber ja, wir sollen nach, äh, nach Dunjacht, äh, Dunjacht äh, suchen. Ich nehme an, sie ist hier, sie ist hier unten. Dann schauen wir mal, was sie zu sagen hat. Just as promised, Traveler and Paimon. I'm so glad that you two came back to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Indeed. The festival's tomorrow. We've been preparing for so long that I can't help but feel a little nervous. There's no need to be nervous. Paimon's sure that Lesser Lord Kusanali will feel everyone's gratitude. <laughs> Thanks, Paimon. I hope that everyone who comes to the festival will also have a good time. Speaking of which, um, did you manage to make your way to Port Ormos? Discover anything over there? Of course we went. A lot of things happened there. I see. Sounds like you two had another exciting adventure. If there is another chance, I would love to join. My lady, if you went to Port Ormos in your current state, we'd both be in for a lifetime of trouble. Dia! You are eavesdropping! It's called covert protection. Keeping an ear out for what's going on around my employer is part of the job. It's all right, dear. I merely said I would like to go. I know better than to think my body could handle it. <sighs> the festival's tomorrow. I've been doing nothing but causing trouble for you. So, dear, please take some time to relax. I'll be fine. Mm, even when you put it that way, it still doesn't feel right. Don't worry, my guardian knight. <sighs> okay, fine, but only tonight. Tomorrow's a big day, and many no-good scumbags are gonna try to take advantage of that. Ah. Oh, uh, you two must be exhausted from your long journey back to the city. Uh, my apologies for not realizing this sooner. I've already prepared a room for you to rest. Please follow me. Whoa, you're so thoughtful. Paimon's so ready. Des Morgen, des Morgen, des Morgens tausend Rosen. Ja. <lacht> Ach man, Alter. Also wenn das schon so losgeht. Okay, es hat mich doch nicht wundern. Ich bin mal nicht seit einer halben Stunde jetzt wach. Oh Mann. So, wie kommen wir da hoch? Ich nehme dann... Ist hier ein Weg hoch? Nee, oder? Das muss ja eigentlich äh, über mir sein. Okay. Ich will noch mit dem Team spielen, mit dem ich eigentlich das... Warte, warum gehen wir auf die... Oh Mann, Leute, also ich würde mich nicht so freuen, wenn was äh, für eine Dummheit noch erwartet hier, Alter. Das geht hier gar nicht, Alter. <lacht> das ist grausam. Also, was soll ich sagen? Also, ich spiele auch mit dem Team, was ich halt ganz ein ausgerüstet... Also nicht ganz ein, aber größtenfalls ausgerüstet hat, um die Erkundung zu machen. Meine Nase läuft super, es geht immer besser. Ähm, noch mehr. Alle. Here we are. It's also fairly close to where I've been staying. It looks really nice. Ja, 
<laughs> Not at all. It, just tell me more about your adventures when you next get the chance. That's Paimon's specialty. Paimon can tell you stories next time. Oh, if you don't mind, how about we all walk around together tomorrow? All of my friends will be working the festival, and Dia is still insisting on her covert protection. Yeah. It'll be pretty hard to relax and enjoy the festival if Dia's constantly hovering over you, right? Then let's meet at the nearby bazaar first thing tomorrow morning. Have a great night. It's a deal. Good night, Dunyarzad. I may be too excited to fall asleep tonight. See you tomorrow. Paimon's starting to really look forward to the Sub-Zero Festival, too. Will there be lots of yummy food? Oh, no, no. Thinking about food is just gonna keep Paimon up all night. The earlier we sleep, the better. Let's go inside, Traveler. Oversleep? We should go meet Dunyarzad right away. Also mit den ganzen Abenteuern und so, kein Wunder, dass wir verschlafen würden, um ehrlich zu sein. So, tief, okay, ich nehme mal wahrscheinlich schon den Festsaal. Ja, oder so vom Theater, so haben sie es ja genannt. Alles läuft gut, weil äh, Ding. Ne, Moment mal. Ist ja da wohl. Oh, Mann, Alter. So, da ist sie. Traveler, Paimon, I've been waiting for you two. Good morning, Dunyarzad. We must have overslept a little bit. <laughs> Not at all. I arrived early. Oh, today is finally here. I must cherish every moment as if it were gold. You've worked so hard for this day. You gotta enjoy it to the fullest. <laughs> you know it. Oh, it's just that, um, as expected. I had some trouble falling asleep last night. I'm hoping my body won't be too much of an issue today. Well, shall we? Let's start with the stalls over there. Okay, then let's go. Many vendors came out of the blue to support the event. And they insisted on covering costs themselves. Let's go give them some business. Okay, let's go. They paid for everything out of pocket? Oh, sounds like they're not in this just for the Mora. <laughs> they all said that contributing to a lively festival atmosphere is more important than money. Especially since we don't often get to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. <laughs> this is a stall offering foods from the Haftmewa feast. Oh, you could tell straight away. I thought most people nowadays wouldn't know. Mushrooms, flowers, and all kind of fruit? It's all vegetarian stuff. Oh, Paimon's a little disappointed. So, what's the Haftmewa feast you mentioned just now? It's another sub -Zero's festival tradition. People used to set their tables with seven different foods. Generally speaking, the most common selections were foods like Rukushifa mushrooms, lunar lotuses, Sumero roses, sunsetias, kapulatas, hara fruits, and zaytun peaches. So, the sub -Zero festival is a vegetarian holiday? <laughs> you don't have to be a vegetarian to enjoy the spread. We just use the seven foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon. Wait! Vegetarian food to represent the Dendro Archon. Then wouldn't the Pyro Archon's festival be full of food like roasted fowl, juicy meatballs, grilled steak? Oh, Pyro! Oh, we have to go to Netlon as soon as possible. <laughs> I hope your wish comes true one day, Paimon. Thanks. All right. How about we also check out some of these other stalls? Dear customers, would you like to try your hand at alchemical divination? What's alchemical divination? Those two things sound like they'd be fun to try together. Right? I thought the same when I first heard about it. 
it is said to be a mysterious craft invented by none other than Lesser Lord Kusanali herself. So, how does it work? It's quite simple. After you give me any two alchemical reagents, I'll use them to perform a random transmutation. Sure sounds random. So random that it will probably fail. That is precisely what we need. After the transmutation fails, your one and only diviner here will interpret the remnants. Well, according to Lesser Lord Kusanali, everything is interconnected, and all that occurs can be traced back to fate. You could say this is a pearl of old wisdom. Why does everything sound so much more credible when Dunya Azad says it? Are you guys working together? So that's the true wisdom behind it. This young lady sure knows her stuff. So, how about it? Want to give it a try? Hmm, probier mal das. Oh, that was one of them, which is also very hard for us. Come on, here. Okay, one moment. Hmm. It's the moon. Paimon wants to take a look too! Uh, is it? It looks more like a pie that Paimon bit into. Hmm. Generally speaking, the moon signifies... It means... Uh, wait a moment. Is he really looking it up in a book? Oh, I remember now. It means illusions and lies. Illusions and lies? That sounds rather ominous. Yes, but this book says that if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. He's not even trying to hide his book anymore. Naturally, fate will only ever show you the beginning of a journey. It is up to you to forge your own ending. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> uh. Guess that was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next stall. They say the okay. Sub-Zero's festival was very lively a long, long time ago. Large flower carriages used to parade through the city. As they headed towards Port Ormos, people would throw flowers, candy, and liquor all along the way. Dunyarzad's eyes are sparkling right now. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have seen that spectacle. But if you ask me, I'm sure Nilu's dance of Subzeros will be just as impressive. Yeah, da wachte ich auch am meisten drauf. Ich bin wirklich gespannt. Ah, <lacht> ups. Ich bin wirklich gespannt, wie ihr Nilu's Tanz wird sein. Dann werden wir wahrscheinlich eine gute Karte bekommen. So, ah, und voilà. Attention! Soldiers, fall into formation if you want any Yalda candies. It's a weird guy with a weird hat! Hey! It's two years on! Wow! <laughs> Miss Dunyarzad, the children love you even more than the Yalda candies. In the few short days it took to prepare for the Sabzeru's festival, the children have all grown very fond of you. Uh, um, the hallowed night of flowers. It's an honor that you know my name. <coughs> Attention! In the name of Ferris, the night of flowers, I commend you on your contributions to the glorious Sabzeru's festival. All right, little soldiers. Take your Yalda candies and don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dismissed! Yes, Knight Ferris! Uh, just what is going on here? <laughs> Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is another sub festival icon and one immensely popular with children. In the past, the actor portraying Ferris would also sit on a flower carriage. It's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can make such wonderful memories today. As are we to you, Vihar. Oh, <laughs> not at all. Oh, speaking of tradition, do you want some Yalta candies? They're a festival staple, and I happen to have some boxes readied here. 
Take a look and pick whichever one you want. Whichever one? Um, don't these boxes all look the same? <laughs> that is the fun part. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, sunsetia. Ooh, those all sound pretty good. And there's also lizard tail and oni kabuto. Huh? What's up with those two flavors? Oni kabuto is a little spicier than lizard tail. Tanyarzad, you, you tried them before? Traveler, help Paimon pick one. Paimon wants the Sunsetia flavor. It's all right. Paimon believes in you. I also believe in your intuition. Great. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? <laughs> Excellent work! Yes! That is indeed Sunsetia. Paimon bet you survived so many epic battles because you had incredible luck, and Paimon was right! Attention! Here's your Sunsetia flavored candy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Knight of Candies. It's Knight of Flowers, not Knight of Candies. <laughs> Paimon really wilted the carriageless Knight of Flowers. Basically, sound the same. We got our candy, so let's keep going. Oh, uh, actually, I just remembered that I left something behind. Um, since you're here, can you come with me to get it? Dunyarzad, you probably forgot because you're so excited about the Sub Zero's festival. <laughs> uh, how embarrassing. Okay. Okay, geht's really no near this for not. Was hat denn äh, Junior Sat von äh, vergessen? Ich schau mal etwas für das Fest oder vielleicht ein anderes Kleid, vielleicht, ich weiß nicht. We're too late. Who knew the little lady was such an early riser? I know, right? Hey, wait a minute. Boss, isn't that her? Oh. That most certainly is. We're in luck. She's walking right into our clutches. Those Aramites don't look like they're up to any good. Who are you? I don't believe the Homayanis hired you. <laughs> That's right. We haven't received any of their mora, but... I wonder how much the Homayanis would shell out to get you back. Hey, did you scumbags even consider that the Homiyanis might have hired a merc that outclasses you? You're... Dia! Dia the Flame Mane! No wonder we mercs haven't heard anything about you for so long. You sold your unruly mane to the highest bidder. Don't speak so disrespectfully. My family started working with her as gratitude for her past kindness to us. Don't worry about it, my lady. Just some friendly banter between mercs. One punch and those rabid dogs will expose themselves for what they really are. <laughs> Aren't your claws all dull by now? Don't get too cocky! Traveler, take Miss Dunyarzad to a safe location. No! We're gonna stay and help! There's too many of them! Mm, you're right. Please be careful, Dia. Don't waste your time worrying about me. This is my job. Look out for yourself. After I've wiped the floor with them, I'll go find you all. Oh, oh. Okay, da hinten. Wir kommen innerhalb der äh, vorgegebenen Zeit. Ich nehme an, das ist aber nur der erste Punkt hier und dann geht's weiter. Ah ne, lol. Fine. 
My body always reacts like this whenever I exert myself too much. You sure you're okay? I'll be fine after some rest. I'm more worried about Dia. After all, none of this would have happened if I hadn't insisted on coming out today. Yeah, don't worry. My lady, traveler, found ya. Dia, you took care of them so fast. Any more of them? Or rather, did anyone follow you? Dia, your arm! Oh, this? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Normally, they wouldn't have been able to land a hit on me at all, but... I'm still getting used to this new greatsword. Please, let me take a closer look. Come on, it's nothing. Us mercs aren't as fragile as you think. Hold on, you said something about a new greatsword. Uh, what happened to the one you were using before? Uh, about that. Well, I sold it, because I was low on Mora. Stuff like this happens every now and then. It can't be. The anonymous donation that was used for the venue's final round of preparations? <sighs> <laughs> Hey, Miss Dunyarzad, I wasn't trying to make you cry, and I'm not gonna lose my commission because I made my employer cry, am I? <laughs> okay, making your employer cry won't affect your commission, but selling your weapon without permission and getting hurt? I'll have to reevaluate your performance. <laughs> You're so unreasonable, my lady. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dia. Don't be like that. I get embarrassed really easily. <coughs> Are you feeling unwell again, Dunyarzad? My lady, your condition. Traveler, can you take her somewhere to rest? I'll look around the area to make sure we're safe from an ambush. Truly. I'm sorry for the trouble, everyone. Okay. Let's go. I thought it was the first time that Dia did this spend, when she sold her own sword. That's super süß. Oh. moments and I'll be good to go I didn't realize you were concerned about it I guess I shouldn't continue to keep it a secret I was actually born with Elazar terminal now can't believe it's Elazar oh uh, you've already heard of Elazar in that case you probably know about its severity Sumero's current medical advancements still haven't been able to find a cure. The disease's progression can only be delayed through environmental therapy. Dunyarzad. There's no need to be sad. I've always lived with Elazar and I came to terms with it a long time ago. Compared to the simple fact that I'm afflicted with this, its effects on my life have been much more painful. I know that my family loves me dearly. They've done all they can to provide the best environment for me, so that I can live for that much longer. However, I know I will one day succumb to this. Did you know? Before I ran away from home this time, the world outside of my home didn't even know that I existed. Since I was a child, all I could do was sit on my bed and stare at everything outside of my window. I'm sure my family's worried and disappointed in me for running away, but I... I just didn't want to have any regrets. I wanted to meet other people. To me, there's nothing more beautiful than being able to meet and speak with others. 
Not to mention the incredible time spent preparing for the festival. The joy on everyone's faces here, and all the support I've received from friends like Dia. This way, when my final day does arrive, it will be less sorrowful. At the very least, many people will remember that I once existed in this world, right? Uh, as long as you don't forget Paimon, Paimon also won't forget about you. Uh, no, even if you forget Paimon, Paimon will still remember you. <laughs> oh, thank you too so much. I apologize for the depressing conversation. This is, this is out of character for me. To be honest, Lesser Lord Kusanali gave me the courage to do all of this. If it weren't for her encouragement, I wouldn't have taken that first step. Thanks. There will always be frustrations in life, but I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. Oh, right! Isn't it almost time? Huh? Almost time for what? Isn't the Dance of sub -Zeros about to begin? It's the part of the festival that I've been looking forward to the most. Nilu will recreate that legendary scene with her most splendid dancing. And the sub -Zeros festival will conclude amid everyone's applause and blessings. And with that, my wish will also... And what are we waiting for? Let's go to the stage! Yeah, we should still make it in time. Okay, das heißt, jetzt kommen wir zum Tanz. Okay, jetzt bin ich sehr gespannt, wie das aussieht. So, da ist Eingang. Ui, Entschuldigung. Ups. Kleiner Zwischenfall. Were you not aware that the law prohibits this type of performance from taking place without prior permission? Over there! Someone's yelling at Nilu! I think I just saw the Academia's Grand Sage. Why is he here in person? But the dance of sub -Zeros is one of the key parts of the sub -Zeros Festival. If we can't perform it... The sub -Zeros Festival? The law also prohibits the private hosting of large-scale religious festivals. Only the Academia can host such an event. If you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How... How did things turn out like this? The Academia was originally responsible for the sub -Zeros Festival. But they failed this responsibility for many years. I need to speak with them. This is a hard pill to swallow, but... You're right. Things would only get worse. Art. Dance. Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land of knowledge and reason? Our Archon created the utopia that is Sumeru City for all scholars who sought validity, verity, and truth, while people like you wish to defile it. No. I believe that our Archon never rejected the arts. Even the Goddess of Flowers dedicated a dance to her. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. We will announce it to the public later via the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. Hmm. The sub -Zeru's Festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Nilu, are you okay? Oh, Dunyarzad. You all saw that just now? The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. Yeah. Let's go somewhere the Academia can't find us and perform there. Ah. Uh, but how do we let everyone know? 
And what about the atmosphere and the stage? Or we could get people to block them off so they can't interrupt the performance. Ah, no. They just threatened to investigate the organizers. If we were caught... Nilu, it's all right. Don't worry about it. But you've been looking forward to the Dance of Sub-Zero so much. And I know how important this festival is to you. I don't want you to have any regrets. It's okay. Seeing you care this much about my feelings is more than enough. It would be too risky to continue the sub festival at this point. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. If you say so. But... You can sneak out for the next sub festival, right? We'll make sure the next one is a smashing success. <sighs> the next one. Yes. Okay. It's a promise. It will be a smashing success. Hyman can't believe this is how things turned out. Those heartless geezers. It really is okay. There's nothing we can do about it. <sighs> Still, I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Nilo's dance. Unter die düstere Atmosphäre wurde das saubere Fest immer Bruch gezogen. A lot happened today. It's a shame the festival ended the way it did. Nilo and Dunyarzad promised to make the next sub festival a success. But Dunyarzad is running out of time. Yeah. Uh oh. All connections have been secured to construct the most stable framework possible. The project has entered its most critical phase. Power has begun to flow from. Mm -hmm. 